So this is for everybody that ever asked for clean, defined, healthy, bouncy, curly coils that look good, that feel good. If that's what you wanted, Lana here and today I'm going to be following a new black hair care routine created by Onision. He is shocked that nobody taught black people how to care for their hair. You guys for some reason don't know your hair as well as I do. You can't competently take care of your own hair. Why is it I have to help you smell good because nobody educated you on this? I thought that I made like a hundred videos on it but I mean if that's what he says then like <laughs> nobody knows how to take care of their hair. Everybody's still coming out with this frizzy crap as Onion calls it. So this frizzy oh, crap. Okay. I say frizzy crap because it just comes to mind. Or this braids situation that Onion doesn't like. Highly braided whatever. First of all Pretty sure she doesn't spend seven hours a day braiding that. Pretty sure she doesn't even necessarily wash that. And I know that I'm not attracted to that. Here we have another example of that probably doesn't feel good to the touch. Probably isn't fun to maintain. It probably hurts your scalp. Probably isn't washed very much. Just don't. Thank the skies for delivering onion to us. He gave a lot of tips and a lot of tricks. He even suggested some products for us and how to use them and when to use them. This is like the holy grail routine for curly hair care and afro hair care because let's Let's face it, afro hair is just very, 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 very curly. Afro textured hair is curly hair. I mean, yeah, look at it. It's all curly. Super curly. Amazingly curly. Onion's hair care routine. Number one is to get yourself a daily shampoo. So he even came up with a suggestion for you. He found it on Amazon. To be honest, anybody can say daily shampoo because they're trying to sell it to you. They want you to buy it. They want you to buy more of it. And you're going to buy more of it if you're using it every day. Another thing that he points out is that it's for all hair types. Another big, bold claim to make. Different hair types have different needs. For there to be one product that can cater to all hair care types, like that's, that's mythical. They're not speaking to black people when they make a statement like that. <sighs> No, it doesn't take a genius to know that hair is hair. So he just said, get one that's not damaging. Best shampoos for African-American natural black hair. You obviously don't want alcohol in your hair because that'll dry it out. Gotta get that pH balance as well. Gotta get a shampoo with naturally moisturizing oils. I know what I'm talking about. I hope you invest in the right shampoos. Number three is to go ahead and wash your hair every single day. That's it. That's step number three. <sighs> No, it can strip your hair if you're using the wrong product. Crappy, tacky products, and then they say, well, I guess nothing will work. And that is absolutely stupid. So congratulations, now your hair is dirtier and stinks more because you can't competently take care of your own hair. Clean your hair. You see, there's the shampoo here. And if you scroll down, it says daily cleaning. Daily, which means you can wash your hair daily. The secret is to not use harsh shampoo. Oh my god, is that exactly what I've been saying this whole time? It's almost like white boy is right. A lot of black people don't wash their hair because it's too much work. I've seen that again and again. They don't do it because you can't do it. Instead, they do it because it's time consuming. So it's dirtier by choice. So step number four is to style your hair. And he's saying he doesn't like it if you don't look like you've done anything to your hair. I mean, he wants it to be low maintenance. He likes low maintenance looking styles, but also he doesn't want you to look you just got out of bed. Here we have this girl who is basically the perfect hairstyle for people of a highly curly nature. Looks like you put a bit of effort into it, but not too much. And it totally looks maintainable. Like, you can wash it, and it'll be okay. I'm more attracted to something like this. Something that you feel more inclined to believe that she prepped that today. So that doesn't smell like dead rats. Unlike, probably haven't washed my hair in four years, girl, over here. He hates frizz. If my hair looked like that when I grew it out, I would I would have to figure something out. Like this. You really want to use some styling products. You want to make sure your hair is nice and fine and also he needs to be able to look at it and feel like he can run his hands through it because i'm using the right products my hair is fantastic it's super lovely to touch people always compliment me on my hair when they put their fingers through it so it has to be all of these things so you're gonna have to style your hair and you're gonna have to dry your hair as well before you leave the house i mean i would love to air dry it but then obviously onisim would not be able to touch it while it's air drying and it would be wet and he wouldn't like that so obviously i need to dry it i guess I need to use a hairdryer, except the hairdryer is gonna make it frizzy and he hates frizz. So I guess I will use a diffuser. I can't towel dry because like towel drying causes massive frizz. So we can't do that. I need to get my hair dry without towel drying it, without hair drying it, without diffusing it and without air drying it. So the time right now, 2.37 in the afternoon. So we're gonna, all right, it's now 2.38. Let's go wash our hair. Let's be quick. I mean, I'm doing this today because it's my day off. This is when I usually wash my hair, right? Oh, I've got hair clips in, get them up. We, we gotta learn to do this real quick because we're doing this every day. And hair's looking ratchet. I mean, Anision is not gonna wanna touch this mess, is he? Yeah, 
He's right, definitely needs washing. It's been a week, about a week ago. I need to find some of these shampoos. The key is that it needs to say daily on it. This one's not daily. Daily, daily, daily. Damage recovery. That's what we're gonna need after this, I think. Mm. I've got lots and lots of shampoos. Cleansing cream shampoo. Finding a daily shampoo is hard. I mean, because I don't trust that one that Anissa suggested. I want one that is sulfate-free, paraben-free, silicone-free. I want cruelty-free as well. I want vegan. Like, I want it all. All of these products are designed for curly hair. So let's hope. We've got only curls in here. we got naughty, naturals. I mean, literally, I have all of these products and none of them say daily. I'm starting to think that daily shampooing is not the best bet for curly hair girls because brands are not are not doing it brands are not encouraging you to wash daily so i've settled on the umberto gianni line it seems to have everything that anisa was talking about it's sulfate free it says that it's really caring for my hair it's got coconut oil and shea butter in it it's also cruelty free and vegan which i love like i need that in my products because we we love animals over on this channel like we care word daily is literally not mentioned but this is probably like as gentle a shampoo as you're gonna get it's 255 we're gonna go wash this mop wash the bun stay there sit there be happy Ta -da -da. No, I'm kidding. I'm not actually going to show you. So I also use one of these brushes uh, to detangle. It's actually a tangle teaser. Don't look at it too closely because it is dirty. It looks kind of gross. Um, but yeah, this is what I use to detangle my hair. My hair needs detangling. Because you know that curly hair gets very, very tangled very, very quickly. You need to spend a long time detangling it. And you might think that my hair was going to come out brown or something. But the uh, water's coming out clear, dude. This is when I've got some shampoo on my hair. Mmm. Yeah, it's a little bit of dirt coming out. So up close and personal. You guys have never been up this close and personal. I'm not gonna lie, this feels like it's really drying my hair out. It said it wouldn't, but it feels like it is. I'm not avoiding this part of my hair on purpose. This is actually what the product told me to do. It said don't apply it to the rest of my hair, only to the top of my hair, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm done washing my hair. The time is now 3.37. Can you guys see this? We took about 40 minutes but we're not done yet because actually all we've done is shampoo and condition we got to do curl cream and we got to do styling the curl cream that i'm using is the more than moisture swirling and styling definition cream from umberto gianni we've got a leave-in conditioner this one is from naughty naturals run some of that through my hair i you spend so much money on products this week styling this is what we're using run that through my hair so I'm going to use this comb to help me distribute that through my hair. We want to get it on like every single strand so that all of my hair can be defined and lovely and touchable so that Anissa can touch my hair. In order to get a nice defined look to my hair and not make it kind of, uh, we don't want frizzy patches. Grab pieces of hair, we're just going to literally just twist them. So hopefully we should have some really defined curls by the time this dries. We don't need to be anywhere today, so I'm going to let my hair air dry. Because when I air dry, that's when my hair is the most defined, most shiny, most nice. Hopefully it's going to dry with some nice defined curls. Because Onision likes that definition. He does not like that frizz. He hates that frizz so much that he would shave it off, remember? So we don't want to be shaving our hair off. It is exactly 3.57. So the whole process of me washing and styling my hair took an hour. And my hair is not even dry yet. So I expect if I wanted to dry my hair with a hairdryer, I would not be able to do it with a hairdryer because that would just completely blow out my hair and make it frizzy. I would have to use a diffuser. The diffuser will probably take me literally like another hour to dry my hair so we're looking at about a two hour long hair process every single day we'll just have to see what happens tomorrow i guess okay it's about half 11 a.m i need to leave now i haven't been able to wash my hair yet because my sister has been in the bathroom all morning washing her hair so i only had time for a really quick shower so it looks like it's going to be like another late afternoon kind of hair wash which means i'm gonna have to go to bed with my hair wet again i'm um, actually my hair is still not dry from yesterday so i've just put it up because it looks so like straggly just because it's still wet and it just looks kind of ugly so it's been about 19 hours since i washed it and it's still wet it takes me like a good 24 hours to get my hair dry 
dry. I mean, it doesn't look too warm today. Hopefully my head's not gonna get too cold. <laughs> okay, so I'm back from uh, doing my grocery shopping and the errands I had to run. I actually messed up my errands because I had some stuff that I needed to return to Pretty Little Thing, but I forgot to print off the labels and stick them on. So that was a bust. I need to wash my hair now. I mean, to me, it feels freshly washed. I'm like, I washed it yesterday. Like, I wanna say it's dry now, but it's literally like the thought of washing my hair right now is really off-putting to me because I just know how long it takes and I just, I don't wanna do it. But I guess I can't be lazy because Onision, I mean, he was really motivational. He said, I can't be lazy. The one I used yesterday, it did feel kind of very, very stripping on my hair. My hair felt very, very dry after I used that. So I think what well, today I'm gonna do a co-wash because Onision did say that you can co-wash. <laughs> kind of like washing it, but unlike a lot of shampoos, it doesn't pull out all the moisture conditioner, really just more so moistens your hair. So if you're a black person, maybe consider just using conditioner, and your hair can smell good all week, rather than being something that you don't wash for a week and gets all <laughs> gross. And easy on discovered co-washing. I mean, I love that for us. I mean, I have to say goodbye to like these literally freshly washed curls. Like this is criminal to me. Like I'm actually having to get rid of these ringlets. It smells fresher than a daisy. Such a sad situation. This right here is what I'm using today. This is the Complete Conditioning Co-Wash from Cantu for natural hair. It's got no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, and no mineral oil, so it should be really gentle on my hair. I had to get it online. I had to get this on Amazon. It took a little while to come. I think maybe it was like 10 pounds. My hair is literally like, what are you doing, honey? Oh no, baby, stop. What are you doing? What build up, honey? What build up? So I was definitely a lot quicker because it took me like no time to detangle my hair seeing as I only detangled my hair yesterday. That was fun. So it's half past four. And you know what? I know that I need to wash my hair early tomorrow. So I'm so tempted to not even bother putting styling products in it. Yeah, so the whole point of styling products is to make the finished result look nice. But we're not even actually even getting to see the finished result at this point because my hair is taking too long to dry before I actually need to wash it again. So I feel like I wasted like a good couple of pounds worth of styling product yesterday because I washed my hair before my hair even had a chance to flourish and shine. I'm actually gonna give this one a go instead. This is just a scrunching jelly. So scrunching is obviously a lot less time consuming than actually twisting and defining. Oh my gosh, there's something in my eye now. I hope I'm not allergic to that. Oh, and then I'm gonna use some leave-in conditioner and I already used like like a good quarter Maybe almost 30% of this yesterday because I have a lot of hair. Am I gonna go through this in three days? I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I mean, it's really dark. You guys literally can't see me. My hair's dripping all over me. This feels gross. Let's get a towel Yeah, so I'm literally only making half the effort that I made yesterday just because I kind of feel like it's pointless Nobody's gonna see my hair actually looking nice. Everybody's just gonna see it looking wet I don't think this is what Anisian wanted for me I mean, I'm really not trying to use too much of this. I'm just trying to use enough to actually keep my hair healthy. Scrunching jelly. I've never used this before. I need a microfiber towel. I'm just going to quickly get one. So I have this little fancy towel. It's got my name on it. Hopefully we don't create too much frizz. It's frizzy crap. And hopefully I don't have to go to bed with wet hair again. Scrunch just a little bit. Oh baby, just a little bit. I like this scrunching jelly. That took maybe 20 minutes. I mean, I don't like to sit with my hair in a towel, but I'm gonna do it just for a little bit just to keep it kind of like off of my shoulders. Cause like when it's on your shoulders, it's just nasty. I don't like it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I mean, it's gonna drip on my back and stuff, but what can you do? So now I'm gonna sit and do some work. Anisio wants my hair to look nice, nice and defined and like I did a little something, something with it. We'll see. Hi, so I had another busy day today. So I think I'm probably just gonna do what I did yesterday, which was the Cantu co-wash the Umberto Gianni scrunching jelly with the Naughty Naturals leave-in conditioner. It worked quite well to not dry my hair out too much because the co-wash was so gentle. I don't really know if the co-wash did anything at all, but it didn't really define my hair very well, which doesn't really matter because I didn't get to wear my hair out anyway because it took too long to dry. I've been living with my hair in a wet bun for like the last three days. Tomorrow I will try to wash my hair really really early but it's just been hard because where it takes so long I just haven't been able to like block the bathroom up for that long in the mornings like people need to use the bathroom. I'm actually getting so sick of washing my hair. My hair is just permanently wet all the time. It's just so annoying because I'm just now getting to a point where my hair is dry and now I have to go and get it wet again. I've been having this headache like on and off today it came back while I was like wetting my hair again in the shower honestly I don't know if it's got anything to do with the fact that I've had wet hair for three days straight but honestly I'm getting sick of this I mean is there any point in me doing my styling products 
I feel like it's a waste of money at this point. I, I should at least do the leave-in conditioner, otherwise my hair's gonna get dry as no one's gonna see this. I don't honestly I don't know why I washed it. I just had Onision in my ears telling me Clean your hair, clean your hair. <laughs> it's the next morning. My hair is still soaking wet. So am I gonna wash it this morning? No. So it's dirtier by choice. Should I just use the diffuser? Maybe today, yeah. <sighs> I hate sleeping with wet hair so much. I'm actually getting so sick of this because the whole point of this, I mean, hygiene, hygiene for number one. Number two, but Anision's main point was that it smells nice. And his third point was so that it looks like I've done something. How does it look like I've done something if I'm going around everywhere with wet hair? It looks like I've made half an effort. People literally think I've come just out of the pool. So I guess using the diffuser is my only option, but it's just, it's going to be damaging, which goes against his other point of making sure that your hair is well cared for. I mean, do I really have to use a diffuser every single day? And there's a chance that a diffuser could make my hair go really frizzy as well, which of course only Thon does not like. So what are we going to do? Let's just try the diffuser let's just try it for today because i'm sick of having wet hair we're not doing this again today and it's cold outside and i can feel myself like i've got some sort of cold going on like i've got damp in my ear or something like that i'm so tired after the gym i mean this is what i trained for is to diffuse my hair so for this i'm using a ghd hair dryer a ghd air 1.0 and this is a pearl flow diffuser you just have to stick this on there <sighs> And then it comes out like this and then we can diffuse so obviously i washed my hair like 15 hours ago so i'd say it's like quite dry oh it fell off it's not soaking wet it's just clearly wet and nobody can touch it except me which i shouldn't even really be doing because i'm just gonna create frizz if i touch it i'm not too hopeful for how this wash and go is gonna turn out anyway so let's just do it. actually i've got some heat protecting blow dry spray blow dry spray and you know i'm just going to use this because especially if i'm going to be doing this every single day my hair's going to get hella damaged which i obviously don't want it to obviously don't want it. let's just go in with the heat defense we've got a multitask here yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is kind of melted a little bit because I don't think it's supposed to be this floppy. So if we melted the bloody heat tool, I mean, so that's what happened to that. Imagine what's gonna happen to my hair after we do this every day. Also, it's not 100% dry still. You Knowing something's hot, like from a hairdryer, and you can't tell if it's dry or not, or whether it just feels hot. So obviously it was feeling hot just now, but now I'm realizing that it's still pretty wet. Oh, pretty wet and considerably more frizzy than it would have been if I had just left it to air dry. Which of course I couldn't, because if I wanted to do that, then I would have another full day of wet hair. I'm sorry, so this is the first day of this whole challenge that I'm not washing my hair, because I mean, I washed it less than 24 hours ago. I'm spending a lot of money on products. Like all the products that I've used so far is like, it costs a lot of money for these. Eat my breakfast and then I need to go. Mm. And of course I need to style my hair as well because Anision says, you know, hair that's sort of been done up. Looks like you could have styled it that day. Here I am styling my wet and frizzy hair. I liked something that was kind of like wrapped up. So let's just try that. Put a little clip in there like this. And that's gonna have to do for today because we don't have time. Oh my gosh, the back of it's still so wet. There's no grease, there's no oils. My hair's dying a slow and painful death, but it smells real good. Stupid on you, So I'm about to go and wash my hair again. Today is Monday and I need to be out somewhere. Literally, I've got maybe like 45 minutes to be out, which I think is like fairly reasonable time to like get ready and everything. Most people can usually get ready in 45 minutes as long as you don't wanna do like a really heavy beat on your face or anything like that with makeup. I mean, I'm not worried that my hair's stinky. I think my hair smells fresh, it smells clean. Hopefully we can use the diffuser. The diffuser did not work that badly yesterday. Obviously, I don't wanna make a habit out of it, like I've said before, because the diffuser can cause damage in your hair because it is heat. And obviously damage causes kind of unfixable frizz. Like once you've got damage, your hair is just gonna be frizzy. Of course, Anision hates frizz. I hate damage. So, you know, we just like both of us don't really wanna be using the diffuser every day. I don't know how Anision is gonna feel about me using a co-wash three days in a row because technically I've not shampooed my hair. Honestly, I don't wanna shampoo my hair because my hair is, I think it's starting to feel a little bit stripped up top. Like there's no oils or anything up top. Obviously as a curly girl, I'm quite conscious of what that means. That means that like my hair might end up getting a little bit malnourished if it doesn't have any oils reaching 
bleaching it. It's currently half past. My hair is freshly washed again. I'm starting to get really lazy with this because I literally just used the co-wash. Did not detangle. I did not detangle the last time I washed my hair either. Scrunching jelly. I think I might need to use this with the like the twist and define because I don't think this actually worked that well. Leave-in conditioner, which is pretty much run out now. This was brand new when I first started this. I think I might get one more use out of it. And I don't want to be late. Leave-in conditioner goes first. You guys know this. Ooh, not a lot left. My hair is actually not very tangled though, which is a good thing. I mean, it is still kind of tangled though. Okay, I told a lie, it's really tangled. <laughs> Ooh, I have time for tangles, come on. There's something in my eye, what is it? Get out, go away. Oh, okay, I got it. Now it's scrunching jelly time, now it's scrunching jelly time. Ayo, ayo, now it's scrunching jelly time, now it's scrunching jelly time. Ayo, ayo. Take my towel help get some of this excess moisture out so that we don't have to rely on the hair dryer completely i know i'm gonna be late i can already feel it this just takes too long oh, this scrunching jelly man it's all crusty i've literally got four minutes left to get ready oh wait 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 Is this even making a difference, right? This is the wet side. This is the side that I've been drying for like 10 minutes. Oh, barely, barely makes a difference. <laughs> Secret weapon. This. I need to be doing my skincare. I need to be doing my makeup. I need to get ready to go so I don't have time to be holding this. And the bloody thing fell off anyway. Let's just put this onto it. So now that I've got this on, I should be able to get on and do the rest of my skin, my face, everything. And then hopefully we won't be too late. I mean, we're already pretty late as it is. Okay, let's go. Oh. Fell off again. Right. Let's see how my hair's looking. I've had, I've been drying my, wait, what? I've been drying my hair for like almost half an hour. I actually don't know what else to do because it's obviously not going to get dry before I need to go out. So I guess people are just going to think that I didn't make an effort today because my hair is still wet. Like people think that you were late getting out of bed, people think that you just don't care. And like if you want to take it back to Anision's point, it's like it's super lovely to touch. People always compliment me on my hair when they put their fingers through it. People can't touch your hair when it's wet like this. One, because it's wet and doesn't feel nice. And two, because if you keep touching it, then it's going to go frizzy, which Anision does not like. <laughs> So what am I supposed to do right now? I mean, my hair's still wet right now and you can already see like it's gonna go frizzy. So I'm just really annoyed. I've wasted more products on a wash and go that is actually, that I can't even wear, an unwearable wash and go. Like what is the point of me using all of these styling products if I can't actually wear my hair out? It's really annoying. And I'm so tempted to just try and dry it like this, but I know it's just gonna go so frizzy. But I don't wanna go out with wet hair. My hair's still wet, still wet, still wet. <sighs> and not only is it wet now, but it's hella frizzy too. I'm really sweaty because obviously when you have the hairdryer on, it gets hot. And of course I've got to style it because Anision likes styled hair. So we're just gonna do like something basic again. We're just gonna take these little side pieces and we're just gonna take them around to the back. And also it helps me to keep the wet hair out of my face. This, I just know that when this is dry, it's just gonna look so frizzy. It really defeats the whole point of this, doesn't it? That's my face done. So Venetian's requirements are that it has to be freshly washed, hygienic, smells nice, not frizzy, touchable, and look like it's been styled. So I got, it has been freshly washed, it is hygienic, it smells good. I did style it, so we got four out of six, but the other two is that it's not dry and that you can't really touch it. I don't really think that we can improve on this because this was really the quickest. I had to pull out all of the stops for this today. Um, the hair is still not dry. I don't know, it's okay, I guess. I'm leaving you now. So it is the end of the week and I just wanna come to you guys with my conclusions, my thoughts after doing Onision's hair advice. What I will say is that it is definitely possible to wash curly hair every day. Do I think you should wash curly hair every day? No, I don't. There are so many things wrong with washing curly hair and Afro hair every day. One, it takes a 
long time to do. But I feel like for Anissa, it wasn't even enough that your hair was dry, it had to be styled as well. So you need to do all of that, either in the morning or at night. If I wash my hair in the morning, it's not gonna get dry throughout the whole day. So the whole process is pointless because it doesn't look nice, it doesn't feel nice, it's uncomfortable, pointless. But if I wash my hair at night, then I have to sleep on a wet pillow, I have to sleep on wet hair, I get a cold, I wake up with sniffles and a sore throat. It looks a mess because I slept on it so it's frizzy. And it might just get dry by the time I have to go to work, I have to leave the house. But then what's the point? Because now it's already 12 hours old, it doesn't look nice. If you live in a household with other people with curly hair or afro hair, which most people do because those are their family members and they most likely have the same type of hair. They're asking everybody to take that long washing their hair every day. I grew up with three sisters. We all had to get ready for school at the same time in the morning. Did we really all have time to wash our hair in the morning? All of us. Then you've got the electricity bill, the water bill, the gas bill, the product usage, the products that Anision is talking about, the healthy products, the sulfate free products, the gentle products, they're not cheap. This might be a good option for you. This might also be a good option. This might also be a good option. Oh my god. Price racks up quickly. The bottles get smaller, which you guys have probably noticed. I can't be doing that every day. I ran through like three different bottles of product this week. We're talking about the hair dryer, the diffuser, whatever you want to use to dry your hair. With. that's gone up a lot i was trying to dry my hair for like a good hour and a half the other day that's a lot of electricity some people can't afford that much electricity every single day some people have just got to put food on the table they have to turn things off of standby they have to switch lights off when they leave the room they can't be spending an hour and a half with a hairdryer on every morning for the whole family where where have you been onision where have you been it's not recommended by professionals the reason why it's not recommended by professionals is because curly hair and afro hair does not get dirty as quickly as straight hair does especially not from the natural oils in your hair they don't travel down your hair so your hair is not going to get greasy which is why you don't need to wash it so often and if you do wash it too often then you're really going to remove all of that grease which is actually very very good for your hair it's a good idea to let your hair get a little bit of a taste of those oils it's a good idea to not wash it every day but then he says oh well if your hair starts to feel dry then just add more conditioner because that's what that's there for so going back to my previous point products expensive Anision products are expensive he's just buying into this capital list machine of well if this does this bad thing to your hair then just get another product that's gonna do another bad thing to your hair and then you can fix that by getting another product like how about you just leave it alone how about that I mean I only shampooed once and my hair already felt dry after that and I thought you know what not for this challenge not for an ECL, not for anybody am I going to damage my hair from the root I'm just not gonna do that so I decided to stick with a co-wash which was to be fair a lot less stripping in that regard I believe that you can wash your hair every single day if you use a co-wash but then that leads me on to my next point well actually it kind of links back to the previous points is that it still takes a while it gets expensive and then it leads on to my next point which is number four is that i don't want to have wet hair all day i have had wet hair for a week straight trying to do this challenge i've got a cold like my throat is itchy i've been wearing wet clothes for a week because my hair just drips all over the clothes and i've said multiple times in this video the reasons why i don't like to use a hairdryer for anision if he's watching for anybody who's still confused who's watching if you just use a hairdryer by itself on curly hair or on afro hair you are just it's gonna blow out all of the curls and it's just gonna turn it into frizz like forget definition no matter how many products you put on it a hairdryer will just blow out all of the curls and you will just have frizz so i didn't want to just use a hairdryer so on the last day i tried to use a diffuser i tried the diffuser it didn't work i tried the soft bonnet attachment it didn't work i was drying my hair for an hour and a half and i still had to leave the house with wet hair so on like what like what is your answer to that like i cannot physically do it because who wants to be waking up three four hours early before you need to go anywhere just to make sure you can get your hair dry actually i know what his answer to that is he said i would just literally cut my hair to the length that was appropriate to allow me to have fun on a regular basis without having an issue like it's the most superficial thing ever to literally deprive yourself of fun because you don't want to look different well that's good for you any son but i don't want to cut my hair off so i also just wanted to jump in while i'm editing and just say that it is so hypocritical and just infuriating that Onision would literally say it's about vanity this is about vanity you're being too vain if you care too much about your hair and you should just have fun he's the one who literally made three videos telling black people how to style their hair so that they didn't come across stinky so because he's so focused on what it looks like and all of this and then he wants to put that into people's heads and tell them how the way they style their hair makes people think about them and then tell them that they are being vain if they think about it too much. Like, what? 
I think his point was if it stops you having fun, then cut it off. But you know what? Some people's idea of fun is linked in with their hair. Like I like having long hair. I like messing around with new hairstyles. I like trying things with my hair. I like my hair. I feel like it's part of my style a lot of the times. I work my hair into my outfits. Just telling me to cut that off just because it takes a little bit of time to maintain. Like no, I love my hair. I don't feel like it stops me having fun because I maintain it in the way that I want to maintain it. So it's like Anision, like you are not understanding, like your experience is non-existent, your research is so limited. He actually mentioned all of the other people in the world. He said something like every single person in the world can do it, so why can't you? To everyone on earth except for people with this hair issue. Can you imagine not washing any part of your body? He didn't say in America, he didn't say in the Western world, and he's talking to black people because this, this video was like the truth about black hair and whatever. Like how ignorant a statement is that to make? For starters, I ran a poll on my Instagram and I said, who washes their hair every day? I don't know where he's getting his figures from. I don't know where he's getting his info from, where he thinks that everybody washes their hair every day, but people are lying to him because 90% of my followers said that they do not wash their hair every day. And only 50% of them said that they do know somebody who washes their hair every day. So we're looking at an awful lot of people who don't wash their hair every day. And that's just my followers who are predominantly in the Western world, who are predominantly in the UK and America. We're looking at places with a large population of African people. Africa, do you really think that people in Africa are washing their hair every day or does Africa not count as part of the world to you and Isian? Like Africa is just, you know, it's a massive continent. But it's just not part of the world. Like he thinks he can just spend five minutes online and suddenly he knows everything about curly hair, but try living as somebody with curly hair. I don't know whether he thinks that he's being revolutionary by saying that he doesn't like frizz or he doesn't like that. He doesn't like box braids. He thinks he should be like this. And Isian, you're not the first one to say that we have been living with that kind of pressure our entire life. We've been living with people saying that afro hair is not suitable for the workplace. Wearing your hair natural is not suitable for school. We've had people say that if you wear dreadlocks or even faux locks, then you're probably smoking weed all the time and you probably smell like patchouli. Like I feel like she, she smells like patchouli oil. <laughs> So I also just really wanted to mention that I am fully aware that my experience as a mixed girl, as a light skinned girl, is vastly different to a dark skinned girl or somebody with an afro hair texture. But I do feel like Onision, he mentioned curly hair a lot, specifically curly hair, and he used a lot of curly hair imagery in his videos. And when I was watching it, as somebody who makes a lot of content related to curly hair, it did strike a nerve with me as well. And I did feel like it was something that I wanted to speak on but obviously like please don't think that i'm trying to like claim the space or anything like i fully am aware that i'm only dealing with half of the struggle so yeah i just really wanted to say that i'm sure lots of people would wash their hair every day if they felt like that was something that they could do with their hair if only to get rid of those negative comments from people like yourself or Nisio. i tried for a week to wash my hair every day and it did not work for me because it's not supposed to work for me we do what we need to do for our hair to be able to wear it how we want it you've got every single right to do that if you guys have learned anything from this video um please let it be the people who just want to say hateful things and ignorant things about your hair and your hair type are a dying breed my videos are here to help you guys to show you how to take good care of your hair in the best possible way please do not let anybody especially not somebody who has got absolutely no idea about your struggles and your experience please do not let anybody tell you what you should be doing with anything on your body not just your hair anything on your body whatsoever <laughs> this is your life you live it how you want to so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, it was a kind of a long one today. Please thumbs it up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you do need curly hair tips. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye.